Hi Sky, hi Marco, hi Gray. Today we are going to paint this beautiful sweet watermelon. Okay, ready? Now let's begin. Um, get your pencil, your HB pencil or your Mongol pencil will do. Now we will draw an oblong shape, our usual oblong shape. And once you're satisfied with, with your lines, you can trace it or you can make small adjustments. Now we draw the slice of watermelon in front of the whole watermelon fruit. So I just created a boat shape a u shape or a big smiling face and i mean a smiling mouth and let's make it 3d with this um added lines in front of that u shape i'm not really satisfied with that so i'm going to erase it and make a new line like that i guess i needed a narrower triangle shape to make it look more um, realistic okay now we can paint the whole watermelon first at the back this one okay you can start with we can start with um, the water first now before that, you choose your brush. You can use any brush that you like. But I'm just preparing these three brushes. The flat one. And those two, my favorite brushes. The round tip and the smaller round tip brush. And we are going to use black color for the seeds. And guess what else green of course for the watermelon skin and we can mix that with some yellow and a bit of a bit of blue okay so green blue yellow just um, prepare those colors because we might need it later start let's start with the big fruit at the back the whole watermelon fruit okay you can use your flat brush or your round brush any brush that you like let's paint the watermelon with water first okay just water you can fill the 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 oblong shape with water okay i think my brush has um a slightly green shade on it maybe i didn't wash my brush well but that's fine because um we need green later i'm just gonna pour some water there i already poured it to make it more faster now skip skip um the line um line the line from your watermelon slice don't paint that part yet just uh paint the you just stop where the line of the slice of watermelon starts okay you can brush or splash some extra water that's left on the side it's fine now get your thin brush now we were we are going to, i'm going to use the olive green color but if you don't have that you can mix your green and yellow okay okay so mix that well with water make sure that your um, pigment your watercolor pigment is spreadable on paper okay just add yellow and then again when we put the color on we don't really rub the brush onto the paper we just um 
let the brush kiss onto the paper with water. So remember, um, with this round shape, remember that we only colored or we shaded the part that has um, more shadow on it. So I'm just painting the two sides of two ends of that oblong shape okay and now you can add green color over your your yellow green color okay remember make sure that your water is um damp or wet not too wet not not too dry also and now we are going to make that stripes um stripes print <laughs> the stripes of the skin of the watermelon okay make sure that when you put the stripes don't make it too perfect like the lines don't have that Make sure that the lines that you draw is imperfect because um, that's the key to making it more realistic and natural. So just let the water blend with the color or let the color blend with the water. So if you, as you can see, it's just spreading on its own. I think I'm just, I'm gonna add blue a bit um, with my green a kind of blue green color to make it more um, interesting okay just add it on the side skip some skip some lines to make it look more natural okay remember that our the stripes of the watermelon um follows the round or spherical shape sphere shape so your lines is kind of curving and then you make sure that you color the dark color on the sides and you leave the center um lighter okay Okay, keep um, adding dark blue-green on the sides. Remember to just, you know, um, touch, lift, touch, lift. The brush is only touching and lifting. It's not rubbing the paper because when you rub the paper too much, it's going to ruin your paper. Okay, just add more squiggly squiggles you add squiggle squiggly lines okay now we can start painting the watermelon slice let's erase that part because we don't need that now when you when you brush off the excess eraser use a brush don't use your hands because usually our hands are our fingers are dirty okay we are going to start with water again just water cover the whole watermelon slice with just water just like what we did with the whole watermelon fruit okay i'm just mixing the colors here I mixed um, the red um, color with uh, with orange. I'm, let's see later. Now just fill your watermelon slice with water. Just keep on doing that. Okay, it's okay when the green color is spreading a bit on the sides. It's fine. Let the watercolor do its magic. Okay, just be patient with it. 
Okay, let's continue with the watermelon skin on the sides. Make sure not to overpower it with um, green pigment. Make sure it's that when when you um, apply the color onto the paper, the the color or the color pigment um, will just spread on its own. Hmm. I like how watercolors are like just um, spreads on the water on its own. Now let's go to the watermelon meat. <laughs> the red meat of the watermelon. I'm mixing red with a bit of orange later. Okay, you can... Yeah, let's close up a bit so that you can see. Okay, make sure here that um, your watermelon slice is still wet, okay, but not too wet that it creates a puddle of water, just enough, just enough so that when you put the pigment, it's just gonna absorb all of the bright um, red-orange color. Okay, just continue mixing. Make sure you have enough. Okay, again, just touch and lift. Touch, lift. I'm not rubbing the paper. Continue to touch and just lift. And you see how it spreads onto your wet paper. To the water, actually. It's spreading onto the water first. And then the paper will absorb the color with the water avoid rubbing avoid um, brushing okay when you think that your your color is not spreading well just add more water to drag the pigment around okay and make sure to leave white space between your um, watermelon skin and your um, the meat of the watermelon. I keep seeing meat. I keep saying meat. I'm not sure how to call that part of the watermelon. I think it's the... What's that part of the watermelon? The... No, the red part. Watermelon meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make sure to leave the white spaces. Because the ba, when you, when you eat um, watermelon... Sometimes there's always that white flesh um, left when you eat it. And it's not that sweet anymore. So let's leave that part. And to add more texture, just add more red pigment. Okay. A bit faster because we're running out of time. Now we're going to do the seeds. Yay! Okay, before you apply it on the paper, try it first on your palette. Okay, make sure it's not too wet and not too dark. Because when you do that, it's just gonna overpower your, your watermelon. The red part of the watermelon. Okay, now when, when, when you paint the seeds, remember that... Um, the seeds are usually arranged or positioned in this um, in this way, a certain way, like a fan. Okay, so you follow that direction. As you can see, my brush is um, slanting towards the position of the um, the slice of the watermelon. I think it's a fan shape. So I position my brush in a certain way. I don't just put it... Uh, I, I don't just place my brush randomly, but I position my hand. Okay. I think I... I put too much black on 
my brush. And wait, I think I, I, I'm just lifting um, excess red color. So I just used water to do that. Now let's let it let it dry. And when it's a bit dry now you can put you can add more details by adding more green or blue green onto the skin of the watermelon. Okay. Just leave some white spaces. Don't cover it all with green. The thing about watercolor is you have to um, sometimes stop yourself from coloring too much. Okay, let's add more details here on our whole watermelon. I'm using um, the blue-green color to add more depth or um, to add more interesting stripes more squiggles squiggle 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 okay continue to do that until you are satisfied again i'm not painting it all the way through the middle because i want the middle part to be shiny or to be lighter okay i have to stop in the middle i'm just gonna continue it on to the other end of the watermelon okay a little more here and there okay make it more darker Okay, uh, this class is making me feel hungry. <laughs> I want a watermelon. Okay, now let's uh, make this more realistic with um, shadows. Let's put shadows underneath the watermelon. Okay, because now it looks like it's just floating in the air. So to... To show that it's on the table or on the floor, let's put a shadow. So just do this with your brush. There's no rules here. Just make a very quick um, strokes. It's like um, you're brushing dust. But this time it has water and color on it. Okay. Make sure you, there's enough water. Okay, maybe more here. Add more shadows. I'm gonna add a darker color um, underneath the watermelon. The one that's very close to the watermelon. To show that it's, it's on a surface. Okay can add more details if you like I'm gonna add more seeds darken some parts more black okay I, I, I think my red part of the watermelon the flesh part of the watermelon is um, kind of dull so I, I think I'm, I'm gonna add more red color later Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna add more texture. Okay. Try to skip the seeds, but if you if you come to uh, touch the seeds while it's still wet, it's fine. No rules. Okay, just make it random. Don't paint everything red. And I'm lifting more colors. I'm using just a clean brush, clean wet brush. I'm, I'm lifting excess colors. 
There. I guess we have our watermelon. How does yours look like? Please send it to me, okay? Thank you, guys. Okay.